Okay, so let's talk about Stormy Monday. Girl, Stormy Monday. The Eagle Flat. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Friday. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> this, now, look, I'm on my computer in the morning. I usually pick up my phone, but, you know, I'm like, let me check out my computer, see what's going on. And I pull up a website, and what's the first thing I see? This chick who works for Bank of America, right? Uh -huh. And I don't know if you know this, Christos, or you know this, but... There are a lot of black people who bank at Bank of America. Yeah. A lot of black people yeah. bank at Bank yeah. of America. So Christine McMullen Lindrum of Bank of America, she goes on her own private rant about, I want to say the N-word, but it's niggas. She says, you niggas are calling each other niggas, so I'm going to call y'all niggas. That's exactly what she said. And she said- but, Hold on. But did she say on her own private Facebook? She got on Facebook. Her own Facebook? She well, got on but her now here's the, here's the thing you got to look at. You see, companies, corporations don't like stuff like that. I don't care if it is your private Facebook. People have lost their jobs because of stuff like that. Exactly. So what she did is probably going to get her fired if anybody in authority, any of the, 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 the officials in that in, in, at that bank see it, they're going to get rid of her. So for right now, mass media hasn't picked it up yet. But what they have said is they recognize, you're going to stop me from patting my hand. You, you're patting your hand. I'm patting my hand on my lap. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> so. But mass media hasn't picked the story up yet. What she did was she went on Facebook and she said, well, since niggas are calling each other niggas, I don't care. I'm going to call you all niggas. And she went on to say how we need to go back to Africa, take out, yes, we were the ones who sold each other off to the slave masters anyway, and it's our fault that we're here, and we need to go on back to Africa. And she just went on and on and on. Now, well, when I saw this, it was about um, about 11 o'clock this morning, because, yeah, I sleep today late. Today you saw that? Yes, this morning. Well, wow. let me tell you, that is really so unfortunate for her to say we need to go back to Africa and that we sold... We sold our um, we sold our freedom. Freedom. Right. No, we sold our people into slavery. Well, what she doesn't realize is that we didn't sell nobody into into slavery. There were some Africans back in Africa <laughs> who sold us into slavery, that and that's how our terrible. black that's how our black black Anglo-Saxon behinds got here. We got black okay. Anglo-Saxon behind. That's right. Black Anglo-Saxon. You, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know this. Home. You know this. I said we are Anglo-Saxon. Now, you know that's white folk. Okay? So we black Anglo-Saxon. That's what, hey, I don't know what I got in me, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm Anglo-Saxon. Now. I'm going to have anyways. to look that up. Um, <laughs> yeah, that means that means that. Where, where, where did she come from? Well, I don't even Well, care. obviously she an Anglo-Saxon Protestant herself. Okay, so she she's she made a Protestant and an Anglo-Saxon. That means she's not from here. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know if she's from here, but she was here when she said it. She was at working for Bank of America when she put her it comments on you Facebook. Wanted... When she put her comments on she Facebook, she, she was work. she was an employee of Bank of America this morning. Whether or not she's an employee of Bank of America now, at the time she still hadn't taken the post down. And it was getting a lot of hits, and a lot of black people were, were chiming in saying, "Oh, you work in Bank of America? Oh, we niggas? Oh, we need to take our ass back to Africa? Okay, we'll see about that." But mass media hadn't picked it up yet. Well, mass media that, is not usually the one to pick that up. That's the kind of stuff where you get black Twitter involved, people, and you start chiming in like, "Oh, really? Is that how we want Bank of America to be represented? Well, we'll just take our niggas' ass and we'll go bank somewhere else." <laughs> And that's how that works. You lose customers well, when you talk crazy like that. Well, right? unfortunately, we don't do it that way. That's not the way we do it as black people. We don't normally take our business away. We usually keep it there. But we do lay in the floor and gravel and get, get go and march on uh, the black neighborhood and, and, and tear up. Where nobody else can see the, us. Uh, the, <laughs> we tear up the our Arab own. store or the Arab yeah. store. And, you know, we, we go in and, and demolish our community. Right. That's what we do. We just don't take yeah. our money away. We, 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 I think this lady is either too dumb uh, or too ignorant or she doesn't know her ass from her elbow. I think she's on three. I, I'm going to go with all three. Let me explain. 
She probably don't know her ass from her elbow. Right, she's a dumbass who doesn't know her ass from her elbow. She, first of all, uh, she did. Well, I tell you one thing, she had her ass on the line. I want you to Because her ass is truly on the line. Yeah. What you said? <clears throat> well, what I'm saying is, uh, she probably did this to get some publicity. And she were probably in their little comfortable living room. Uh, didn't think, didn't take her face out of her ass, thinking that, oh my God, I'm in a comfortable living room, I can say that. If she knows the history of this country, the, the great country we live in, who is from here? The American Indians are from here. That's well, all the American is. Indians. So are she's from not from here, here either. So for her uh, to say that, I don't get it. Well, I, I you know something? I, I just look at it from this perspective. Uh, black folks are here not because we came here because we wanted to be here. We really didn't want to be here. I, I mean, let's just face it. We really did not want to get on them ships mm. and lay on top of one another, 99 deep, and come here and die in one another's mess and all of that but, kind but of stuff. Here now so, and it well, is wait a minute. Is. So we didn't want to be here. So I want you to understand, Miss Christina, whatever your last name is. I'm sorry, I don't remember it. However, okay. I want you to understand. When you start talking about black folks being here in America and you start talking about us going back to Africa, give us some tickets. We go. Right. Uh, listen, guys, we're going to break. <laughs> we gonna yeah, take no, a no, break. Sweetie boo. no, we're going to take a break right here. You're, yeah, listening, yeah. you're listening to the Jamaica Funk Show with KT, Joe, and Christos on HitUSARadio.com. All right. Every time we're getting high in the conversation, you go on a break. Thank you. <laughs>